Welcome, this is question number 23 from the Integrated Math 2 practice test for TCAP or TenReady, whatever. Uh, question, uh, we're in subpart 3, so calculators are allowed. Triangle RST is similar, and that's what this means, uh, to triangle UVW. The dilation that maps RST to UVW has a dilation factor of 2 to 3. And the measure of angle R is 20 degrees, the measure of angle S is 100. What is the measure in degrees of angle W? Write your answer in the space provided on your answer document. Now, the thing for me about similarity is I want to always go through a little bit about what the definition is. And if I can, I might have to shrink this thing so I'll fit it in a space so you can actually see it. Let me scroll this up a little bit. There we go. Something I can work with. Um, when I say that two um, figures are similar, first off, corresponding angles are congruent, so I'm going to actually make a drawing, a very bad one, I'm assuming, um, of the two triangles. So the angles that correspond to each other, and they're given, the corresponding angles are given in the name. For instance, angle RST will be con uh, corresponding to UVW, unless uh, it says uh, it, the letter's in a different order. By ordering this way, they're telling you what the corresponding angles are. Um, and then corresponding sides are proportional, which is to say that I can create a ratio between sides and it's the same for both, uh, for all sides in the triangle. So let's make our triangle drawing. For me, anything uh, that's, anytime I can make a little drawing, I'll probably do it for a variety of reasons. Number one, I'm kind of a visual person, so I like to see why things work the way that they work, but really because it gives me a break from just doing traditional number sets and it looks like a right angle, it's not supposed to be. So this is angle R, or this is triangle R, ST. Dilation factor, which means that um, that sort of speaks to the proportional nature. So ST's equivalent over here in this other one should be two-thirds the size. If it was bigger, it means the second figure is larger. So that didn't work. I'm going to try to Obviously, this isn't going to be exactly um, the same. Ugh, hideous. Something like that. So this would be U, V, W. And it's important, and you can mark them if you want. So R is here, and it's the same as U. S is here, and it's the same as V and W is here and it's the same as T and I don't need to, it's the same but I don't really feel like I need to mark it even though I will. There we go. Um, because they've given me this way. So what the two-thirds means in this case because of the proportional nature is that ST times two-thirds will give you the length of VW. That's all that it means and the proportional relationship holds for all of them. RS times two-thirds gives you this, RT times two-thirds gives you this. Dilation means you just increase or decrease the size and maintain the angles. So, and which you have to do proportionally because of the nature of how uh, angles lock in lengths. So if I extend this one out and it's going to be closed, which is to say that the um, triangle is still a triangle, if I extend this out and I lock in all these values of the angles, I also have to extend this one and this one uh, in a proportional way in order to make that happen. So everything kind of has to grow together or shrink together in this case. Now, with that being said, let's get to the stuff that actually matters. The measure of angle R is 20 degrees. Based on what I've said before, this one is also 20 degrees. Uh, angle S is 100 degrees. So that means that V is also 100 degrees. Why does that matter? Well, they want to know what is the measure in degrees of angle W. So did you really need to know much about the dilation? Not really. It doesn't really help you in any way in this question because the question doesn't ask about the sides. It only asks about the angles, which are congruent based on our definition of similarity. Well, how am I going to find out what W is? It's a triangle. So I'm going to use the fact that the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180. So I'll do measurement of angle W plus measurement of angle V plus measurement of angle W, U, V, W, sorry. This sort of sounds like a wrestling organization. So measurement of angle U is 20 degrees plus 100 degrees 
plus something else, measurement of angle W. Let's just call it X equals 180. And of course, you just combine like terms, so you get X plus 120. I can put X in front because addition is commutative. Subtract 120 from both sides, and I got my final answer of 60 degrees. And if you wanted to test it, it's easy to do. All you have to do is go back in and substitute the value of 60 up here, and you'll find out that 60 plus 100 is 160, plus 20 more gives you 180. So there's my value of measurement of angle W. So I just put a 60 in the uh, the set below. And that's it. It's a very simple question. You really didn't have to go to this level of explanation. I'm just giving it to you from the perspective of this is all the stuff that your brain could be thinking about. If you know the definition of similarity, you understand how it works. You can visualize the triangles without writing them down. This is one of those ones that you could get through very quickly without much effort. And since you have access to a calculator, I suppose you could do the math very quickly there as well. With that said, this is also one of those questions that's really easy to like fly through and just make some minor mistake and then get it wrong. So do make sure you have some system in place in order to go back and check to make sure that makes sense before you just type it in or write it in and then go on or type it in depending on the question, uh, the test, I guess. Um, and that's it.